Log on, tune in, find out. Another good idea from Cambridge. To get a sense of what I'm talking about, I want to look at a much celebrated model of fair trade. Who is the customer or the client in fair trade? It's a model that purports to adhere to a social, an environmental, and a financial bottom line. So I'm sure that those of us here would say that the reason that we buy fair trade products is because our most important target there, our most important client, if you will, in that chain is the farmer to whom we are willing to pay a premium for an organically produced high quality product, coffee, tea, chocolate, whatever. After all, that is what we buy into when we show our preference for commodity labeled fair trade. However, for the certifier who verifies that the product can bear the fair trade label, the client is not really that farmer at all. Instead, it is the product's distributor who needs to know that environmental and social bottom lines have been met so he can safely say this is fair trade and organically produced. And then again, for the retailer that sells the product, the Starbucks, the Costa Coffees, the Marks and Spencers of the world, the client is you and me who buy the coffee at a premium price, which in turn keeps the company's shareholders happy, which to them are the ultimate clients. In fact, the interesting thing about the fair trade model is how little the farmer actually has to do with anything but growing the commodity. By signing up for the privilege of selling fair trade under that fair trade label, and despite the extra demands of achieving certification, the farmer has to forego a portion of the extra earnings for a community project to be decided by the leaders of that cooperative. It might be a school, it might be a playground, it might be you know, a road, whatever. These are all important community assets. But when I've talked to farmers around the world about this, many of them say they would rather keep all of their earnings for them to decide how, it will be, how they will use it. So it seems to me that perhaps there's also a governance bottom line here that needs to be looked at. Now, my purpose in bringing this up is not to criticize fair trade by any means. It's simply to point out how, particularly in the realm of business that has more than one bottom line, who your client is depends not just on where in the supply chain you are and who pays you for your deliverables. It's also about continuously accounting to your Uber client, if you would, or clients, the communities and the environment in which your business is operating. And for companies that have traditionally focused only on a financial bottom line, this would mean radically rethinking their operations. <laughs>